Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my first Q&A. Uh, I'm going straight to the questions because I'm really bad at intros, so <laughs> let's do this. Nach dem Sommer ask, what's your favorite place in London? Um, definitely Blue's Kitchen in Shoreditch. It has everything. It has neon signs, it has two live shows every single night. That's unbelievable and I just love it so much. The people are amazing, the place is amazing, the atmosphere is amazing. Ugh, it's like the best bar in London. You really have to go if you come to London. Um, Jeremy Scott asked me, are you currently dating anyone? Um, my boyfriend and I broke up a couple of weeks ago, so I'm not really dating anyone at the moment. Louis asked me, what's your favorite movie? Um, it's Almost Famous. I just really, it really speaks to me because it's about um, a boy who, I think it's fi he's 15 or something like that, or even younger, and he um, wants to become a music journalist. And that's what got me into music journalism, to be honest. And he goes on tour with this band and they do the craziest things. And I don't know, <laughs> just really love it. And the music uh, in the movie is amazing. Uh, Sarah Berry asked me, have you ever had a moment in your career where you thought that you were not good enough? Um, absolutely, I think everyone has that. Um, and there will always be people who will tell you um, that you're not good enough or that you should consider doing something else, but <laughs> just don't listen to them. <laughs> Fuck them. Um, Chess Egger Fact, okay, <laughs> ask me, what would you tell someone who wants to stop modeling? Um, I would tell them that they have to be really careful because it's not only glamour and fashion and beauty and all that. I mean, yeah, there are good sides, but um, there are also bad sides and you just have to question everything. Don't believe people. Um, people will try to change you. They will try to cut your hair and will tell you to lose weight or whatever. Don't believe them. <laughs> Just be yourself and there will always be someone who likes you. Kim Harmon asked me, I'm sure you have a very busy schedule. Do you get to eat like a normal person while you sit down to meals often? Um, good question. Um, there are times where I don't have time to eat, where I just grab something, I don't even have time to eat it. Um, so there are days where I don't eat at all, which is very unhealthy, but then on the next day I have like three or four pizzas, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, that's not really healthy. I try to eat um, quite healthy, but it's not that easy when you <laughs> live a busy life. Um, but of course there are times where I do have more time and where I, yeah, where it works. Sweet Kara asked me, what's your favorite vegan food? Um, French fries. <laughs> the healthiest option. <laughs> French fries, definitely. Uh, Cherina Mia asked me, why did you stop modeling? Were you interested or did someone else saw you in it? Um, there was a model scout and I think I was like 13 or 14 and he messaged me on Facebook. And he told me that there was this modeling contest and that I should go and I was like, ah, oh, because I couldn't really combine it with my morals. I mean, I, I knew that I, I just don't fit in this industry. I knew that, um, but I had this huge opportunity and then I was like, yeah, well, if I try it, then only in order to work myself up so that I can have a platform one day and have a voice and people who listen to what I have to say so that I can change the industry from inside out, which I'm doing now, uh, thanks to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's why I started. That was my intention from the beginning. The Jenny Techie asked me, I follow you because of your activism and how unafraid you are to share the truth behind your experiences. Thank you. Um, that is so rare nowadays. How do you muster up the courage and is there any advice you can give to others who want to affect change? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I think when you're really passionate about something and you really care about it, then you just get the courage to change it. Um, and you have to be the change you want to see. You have to live it. You have to be it. And when people see that you really care about it and then you're really serious about it uh, and that it works for you, then others might 
change that thing as well and they might think about it and they might question it and realize that the thing that you are on about is the right thing to do. Nach dem Sommer asked me, is it true that you and Cole Sprouse are a thing? Um, Vice and Muse asked me, what was the worst backlash from establishments that you received when you write articles about agencies venturing into prostitution and exploiting models? Um, I've lost several agency contracts, um, but I was okay with that. You know, um, people, and especially agents and managers and like the management in general, they have to support you. I mean, they are your management, of course, they have to support you. And if they don't support what you're doing and they don't like what you're doing, then You don't need those people, you don't need that negativity in your life, so... Yeah, I think I was okay with that. Um, I mean, I do have a new agency now, a new management, uh, and a new personal manager. My, my manager is amazing. Shout out, shout out to you, Michael, you're amazing. Um, you just really need people that support you in your life. And yeah. Um, Kier for Carol asked me, what is the weirdest thing that you were asked to do for a job? Um, there was this one time a couple years ago where I shot a TV commercial and they just had this big bucket full of green neon color and they just threw it at me, like not the bucket but the color. <laughs> and I was full of color, like it was it was crazy, I couldn't get it off. They didn't have a shower at the set, at the set and I just had to, I don't know, wash it off with what they had. and go home with the color and, and I had to drive home for like five hours and there was a similar thing a couple of years later where they had black color and it just let it flow over my face and I had to keep like a normal calm face <laughs> that was really hard and 30 minutes later I had to go to a photo uh, not a photo shoot a fashion event with my agency um, and I had to be like super dressed up and all that and <laughs> it was so stressful, like the makeup artist tried to get get the black color off my skin and it didn't get off. It just didn't get off and I had it everywhere. I had it in my ears, uh, my fingernails, my mouth, everywhere. <laughs> Snake asked me, what's your favorite classic rock band? Yeah. I could name you like Jenny right now, but uh, I mean my favorite band is Foo Fighters, but they're not classic rock, so I would have to say Guns N' Roses and Fleetwood Mac. Um, I think there was an other question about music. Let's try and find that one. Oh, there we go. Jacob Boy 17 asked me, "What's your favorite new rock band?" Um, absolutely, Gary Clark Jr. You have to check him out. He has such a passion for what he does. You can just really feel it when you listen to his music and it's just... Uh, you need to check him out, he's amazing, he's a god. Amy Crocker asked me, what made you want to start exposing the industry for how it really is? Um, I'm a really honest person and I just knew that there were so many people that are not honest in this industry. Um, and I keep finding new things that are ridiculous, like really crazy things. Sometimes I feel like I'm dreaming and this all can't really be happening because it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, and I know that it's gonna take a long time till there will um, actually be changed, but you just have to start somewhere. Leuchtspur asked me, if you had a choice to go back in time and see if Christmas really happened or go to the future to see what it's like, what would you do? Good question. Um, I would not go back in time because, in my opinion, Christmas is such a wonderful thing. It's such a lo uh, lovely tradition and it gets people together and it's like a family event. Um, and it has something magical. I don't need to go back in time to see if it really happened in order to believe it, in order to celebrate it because it's more about family and more about the people that are alive and about gratitude so that you can be happy for what you have and for the people that you have in your life. I don't know, I think I would go to the future because then I could see if something really bad 
um, is going to happen and when I go back um, I might be able to stop that from happening. <laughs> so yeah, go to the future. Mary asked me, what are your goals as a model? Um, I don't care if I'm on magazine covers or if I walk many runway shows, I, I don't give a shit about all that. Um, I just want to be able to speak to people and to reveal things. Um, I want to remain part of the industry in order to um, show what is really going on and to change something eventually. Um, so that's my real goal. Um, I want to see that I was part of the reason um, the industry has changed to the better. <laughs> Pasty Pupil asked me, why did they stop American Horror Story on episode 11 this season? I don't know, it made me crazy, I don't know. <laughs> Let's not talk about American Horror Story. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Um, yeah guys, that was my Q&A. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't really know how to do this because it's my first Q&A. Uh, but um, yeah, I guess you can check out my Instagram and tell me if you want to see another Q&A or whatever. Just let me know. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really bad at this. I'm just going to stop it here. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Uh.